What is a Trojan? Before I tell you about a computer Trojan, I first want to tell you an old Greek mythology story. There once was a woman named Helen who was considered the most beautiful woman in the world. She fell in love with a man named Paris. He was the prince from Troy. There was one problem, however. Helen was the wife of Menelaus, the Spartan king. But Helen and Paris were in love, and so they decided to run away. And this, as you can imagine, made Menelaus very angry. And so the Trojan prince and Helen ran away to Paris's home in a fortified castle in Troy that was well known for its impenetrable walls. But before you know, many Greek ships arrived at the shores of Troy, led by Menelaus with the help of his brother Agamemnon, who was also a king. They demanded the return of Helen. The Trojans refused, and so a war began, and this war lasted for 10 years. But the Greeks were unable to breach the city's walls, so they decided that they had had enough and left on their ships. They had built a large wooden horse and left it outside the city gates as a gift. The Trojans gladly accepted the gift and brought it inside of the castle walls. Because of their historic win, the Trojans celebrated with parties and wine. But what they didn't know was that the wooden horse was not a gift at all, but a trap, because inside the wooden horse hid a few Greek soldiers. Once the party was over and the Trojans let their guard down, the Greek soldiers came out of the wooden horse. The rest of the Greek fleet had returned under the stillness of night and waited outside the walls in quiet. The soldiers from the horse opened the gates from the inside, and the Greeks lay siege to the Trojans and defeated them. I'm sure the Trojans thought they should never have brought that horse within the castle walls. And this is the story of the Trojan horse. And that's where we get the term Trojan from. A Trojan, in computer terms, is a destructive program disguised as a useful program. Just like the horse looked like a gift, it had malicious intent inside it. A Trojan can be sent as an attachment in an email disguised as a harmless file, such as a document or image. When the document is opened, the Trojan is activated and can infect your computer. A Trojan can also be hidden within a program or file that is downloaded from the internet. This can happen when downloading files from untrusted websites or through peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. So be careful when clicking on attachments or downloads. There are different types of ways that a Trojan can use your computer. A keylogger is a type of Trojan that records keystrokes on an infected computer, allowing the attacker to gain access to sensitive information like your password or credit card number. A backdoor is a type of Trojan that allows an attacker to gain unauthorized access to an infected computer. Once a backdoor is installed, the attacker can remotely control the computer and steal information and install additional malware. Ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts the files on an infected computer and demands a payment in exchange for the decryption key. Some Trojans are designed to install ransomware on the infected computer, which can cause significant damage and financial loss. Remote access is a feature that allows an attacker to remotely control an infected computer. This feature is often included in backdoors, allowing an attacker to access the infected computer from a remote location. This can also be referred to as RAT or Remote Access Trojan. Some Trojans are designed to take control of the infected computer's camera, allowing an attacker to take photos and videos without your knowledge and can be used for surveillance. How do you know if you have a Trojan on your computer? It can be difficult to tell exactly, but here are some signs you can look out for. If your browser or search engine has changed without you changing your, that setting, you see unrecognized programs running in your task manager. Other computer settings are all of a sudden starting to change. Anti-malware has been disabled without you knowing. You see unexpected messages pop up on your screen, or you are aware that there are suspicious emails being sent from your account. How can you prevent being a victim of a Trojan? Well, you can try the following ways. Don't open attachments or programs from sources you don't know. Keep your malware up to date and do regular scans and make sure that your firewall is activated. Update your operating system to fix any security loopholes and make sure you use good passwords and back up your data just in case. And avoid unsafe websites. And especially don't click on suspicious too good to be true pop-ups. And by following these hints, you can help protect yourself from a Trojan. For more computer terms, go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms and support us by clicking on that subscribe button and sharing us with your friends. And don't forget, we're also on TikTok. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.